So a little birdie got into my ear or my DMs and said, clouds opening. And I found this photo. It's a pro photo. And I'm like, Simpsons. So here's how I created it. So my journey began looking through elements. I put in clouds to see what I could do. And I went through and started scrolling through the graphics. Really couldn't find what I wanted to. I used to love playing with clouds. So I went into photos and I started scrolling down to photos. And I found, let's see if it'll pop up here. This one right here. And I'm like, dude, it's the Simpsons. So I brought that on over here and what I wanted to do and next with this is like how am I going to get the clouds separated so I can use them. So to use them or what I needed to do is remove the background is the first thing I need to do. Then I'm going to go over to my apps. Now there's this new app in here and this is what I used. I tried to use it before and it was a little awkward but I think I got it down now. So let's scroll down to the bottom because it's new and it's called a choppy crop. So what you want to do is like click where you want to start cropping on here. So you'll see you'll get this thing and you see there's a little teeny dot right there. So what I want to do is I want to. Oops, no, see, still learning the crappy crop. OK, so we want to reset it. I want to start up here. Make sure I have my dot and when my dot, there we go. And then it'll pull and I want to pull between those two clouds, those two clouds. Now, if you're on the free version, you can get some clouds and build it out. I just found this picture and I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to go to the edge and then I'm going to go and bring it over to the edge here. Click. So everywhere you want to point to click. You're going to click your mouse and then you're going to click it till you get back to the top one. And there you go. And that's that half that's cropped out. So we're going to add that to the design. That's that half. Then I'm going to grab my photo again. And I am going to, uh, uh oh, uh oh, reset. So now I want to do the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to click at the top. Now this is brand new and I'm still trying to work out the kinks in it. So I got my start point there. So you can see that little dot. I am going to bring it over and do the same thing. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here, making sure I don't hit my clouds. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here, but click down at the bottom. And then I'm going to take it this away for the clouds over here so I can get this side. So I'm, every time I want to stop, I'm going to click. And then I'm going to bring it back to my start point and click. And there's my crop. And then I'm going to add it to the design. Now I have my two sets of clouds that I can move and open up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another page. I'm doing this for mobile. So this is an Instagram real blank. So what I want to do now is I kind of want to get the Simpsons colored background. Um, oh, we can do um like this a blue um i think it wound up being this blue somewhere in this blue thing and then i want to want to do is bring them in and go like this over top of each other like so and then you want to go hold on let's get that one and fill that corner in there and then what you want to do i'm itching my chin right now I'm just being also personal with y'all right this moment. I want to move that over. I'm going to bump. I'm, when I bump, I'm using my arrow keys to slightly move things over. So now I don't need the choppy, the choppy crop anymore. And I have this animation. So now I want to go and I want to get some text. So I'm going to add a heading and say, hello, YouTube. And then I want to go and get some fonts. Let's see. What did I use? I went into, because I don't have the Simpsons font, even though I did find some letters in here, I just went and used, let's see, more sugar. 
I thought that that looked kind of close to The Simpsons. And, and then I went into Effects. I put a shadow. I want my shadow to be black. I want the intensity up. Oh, the transparency up, not the intensity. And then I want to take the text and turn it into yellow. You can make it any color you want to, honestly. And then I think I want to do the shadow the offset over some. And let's make these all caps for fun. I think we can go a little bit um, more with the offset there. So what you want to do with that? Hey, come on now. I want it like that. So what you want to do is make this super, super, super teeny. Put it here in the center. And then what you want to do is you want to go into position and layers and just move it behind here. So now it has disappeared. So now I want to duplicate the page. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide your clouds to the side. And if you want to be steady, somebody taught me, hold down the shift key. Oh, no, I don't want to take both of them. Then I'm going to grab the other set of clouds. I'm going to slide those to the side. I am going to take my words and I am going to bring them as big as I want to in here. Let me slide that over a little bit so I can see my hello YouTube. Don't don't carry them all the way off the page because they keep linking together. And then you do that. And the other thing I did is I took another set of clouds on the second page and I made them bigger. Uh, I took the transparency down so you could just see them a little bit. And I want them drifting uh, to the right. So I'm going to go into position. I want to put them behind my words. So it'll be down at the bottom. Then I'm going to go to animate. I'm going to put drift. And I kind of want it to go in a little bit slow. So I'm going to just turn that down a little bit. So what we now want to do is get our other text, which I just did my name. So we'll just do Michelle. here and then you can go in and change your font to whatever you want we'll just do more sh let's see what a i think i did permanent marker for my name because that looks like handwriting so we do i'll do created by oops wrong one and I think I want that a little bit tighter. We go on my spacing, space it up a little bit. So what I did with this is because I wanted to use, I want to go and animate and I like the way it comes in on clarify. So what I want to do with that though, but I want to make sure this is all the way up first. So I'm going to go into here and go into my timing, show timing. And then I want to wait and look, hold on. You want to do your match and move it first. Go ahead and I put your match and, move, match and move in between both pages. All right, and then we'll go over here to timing. And then you're going to watch. You want your timing to start when you're, this is all the way on there, and then this starts coming in. So if we look what we got so far, it's going to open up come in you can see the clouds drifting and that'll come in and i do want this let's go here let's go here clarify let's make sure clarify is just on enter and then if you wanted to go slower spread these out and then take your match and move and then add more seconds so it'll go slower but what you're going to have to do with that See, you're going to have a lot of blank space at the beginning just to get that to come slower. So when you get it the way you want to, 
and the way it looks good to you, download it, bring it back into Canva, and just shave the edit the first part off. So I'll do like the original one. Let's see if I got it here. We'll go over to um, uploads. Videos. Videos. All right, so my original one was 11. And we'll just set that to the background. And for some reason, when Canva uploaded it, it wound up being darker. So if you see, when I play the one that I downloaded earlier, it's got a huge blank space in front of it before the animation even starts because I wanted it to go really slow with this, this coming in. So what I can do now is just go where it's still blank and right before the animation comes in, I can get that, get that split the page. What I'm going to do is delete that page. And then now that I've deleted that part, I can start and then it's going straight into my animation. And then what you want to do it, at the end, if it's the same way at the end and you got too long at the end, you can just shave it down and then download this part versus having the longer one with that long piece at the beginning. And that's how you do that one. Pretty cool, pretty fun. And I think it turned out really neat and really cool. And I hope y'all can have fun with this little animation and stop by my channel again. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.